Hey everybody, welcome to episode 14 of how to make a turn-based RPG. Um, what we are going to do is uh, go inside of these characters and we are going to make their combat uh, destroy after death. We're going to turn this off. I'm um, just going to go ahead and do that with all of these characters. Um, this is so when they die they're still going to be in combat and uh, it doesn't just destroy the uh, character. So combat, uh, health and defense is destroy after death. Turn that off. Alright, what we're going to do today is we're going to make uh, change this attack command that we have here into uh, basically we're going to make this register whether they are melee or they are ranged attackers. Um, if they are melee attackers, they will behave in a certain way. If they are ranged attackers, they will behave in a certain way. So here, in uh, each of the character's brains, as each character will behave differently, um, we're going to put a um, uh, attack style. Okay, attack style right here. And we're going to say, for this character, it's going to equal... And we're going to capitalize this because it's going to be a page name, essentially. Melee. We're going to copy this. We're going to put it inside of this character here. We'll just kind of keep it on the second line. <clears throat> Pardon me. And this page here, this one will say ranged. All right. Attack style equals ranged. Now we're going to copy this attack style, attack tile, <laughs> attack style uh, tile, I suppose. And what we're going to say here is under where we have attack, we're going to say switch to page when we first enter the page. Switch to page attack style. Now we're going to move this attacking here. Um, both of these, we're going to move them to a different page. Actually, let's do this first. For uh, here, we're going to make this new page. We're going to insert page, and we're going to copy all of this. This will be our melee, okay? We're going to rename this page melee. So what was our attack page before is now our melee, okay? We have a melee and we have a shoot. Now, in our attack page, what we're going to say is we're just going to do this. We're going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of that. We have our attack function that's pushed here. And we have this that's, shot, that's pushed there. And here we're going to say switch page. And we're not going to have this as pass. We're going to call this attack. Oh, it's all capitalized. <clears throat> it's our attack style. Oh, pardon me. This is a variable called attack style, okay? When page entered, we don't even need that there. We're just going to say switch page attack style. So it's going to come to this page called attack. If we're melee, it's going to come here. If we're ranged, it's going to come here. Ranged. Okay? After that, it's going to go to pass. After this, it's going to go to pass. So what should happen now, when we have command here, command attack, it's the first command. When a command is equal to 1 and they press A, it's going to switch to page called attack. Then a switch, it's going to switch page attack style. If our attack style is melee, it's going to run this attack code. If our attack style is ranged, it's going to run this attack code. Now what we're going to run into is we have this other we have this other command here called shoot. We're gonna call this skill or spell. You can call it whatever you want. We'll uh, we'll mess with that a little bit later. Okay, so we have attack, skill, and pass. Now when we press skill, we have to make a new page. We're gonna insert page and we're gonna call this rename page skill okay now uh, when we get to this 
we're gonna say um, countdown timer of three. And this will just be something we're gonna have here for now. It's gonna say uh, display a text called no skills at this time. Okay. No skills at this time. It's gonna display that. Um, we'll say above, just above the player. Uh, countdown timer three. We're gonna copy this, switch page, pass. Switch page, pass. Okay, so it's just gonna make us pass right now. Or we could say switch page uh, choosing. We could we could do that. We can say switch page choosing. Okay, so it'll go back to oh, sorry, not here. This is the wrong page. Don't do it on this page. Do it on your skill page. Okay. So on your skill page, no skills at this time. After three seconds, it'll switch to page choosing. So let's go ahead and test this. This guy should melee. Our uh, middle character should melee and the bottom character should shoot. Attack. Bam, we shoot. Attack. We pick a target. And we attack. And we're going to test it with uh, Timmy up there. We can attack with her also. Timmy has the melee function. All right, cool. Now let's go ahead and hit skills and see what happens. No skills at this time. And it takes us back to this page here. So let's kill this goblin. And we will call it good for changing the attack system. Um, let's... Uh, let's go ahead and go back into edit mode and we will change one more thing um, We're gonna basically do the same thing we did with the attack command as we just uh, As we did with the attack command to the skill command, okay? So um, let's go ahead and copy this right here And what we're gonna do is we're gonna call this skill. We're gonna rename page. We're gonna call it extra so some characters may have um, an extra uh, ability called spell. Uh, some may have an extra ability called skill. Um, we're not exactly sure how everyone's will work, but um, instead of calling this skill, we're going to call this um, uh, we're going to call this extra. And actually, we want this to be a, a variable also, okay? Display extra, okay? Now, I did make a, a slight mistake there. Go ahead and get out of that. <clears throat> Pardon me. I, I just did undo. We are going to leave this skill thing here. And we're going to call, we are going to call this skill. I apologize. Okay, leave this as skill. What we're going to do is we're going to put this command here. We're going to call this extra. Okay? So command equals extra. And we can leave that capitalized just because attack and pass are capitalized. Um, it doesn't need to be, though. And what we need to do now is in each character, we need to put extra. So extra, this guy will have skill. He's just going to be a skill-based character. This character will be called, um, or actually, this character will have skill. You can kind of do this however you want. I'm just kind of thinking about uh, what these characters are all going to be. This guy is going to be our mage dude. This will have spell. And maybe this guy will have, um, uh, he'll have something called, um, We'll just say uh, engineering. 
Right, we'll just make up something for now. You can, you can make up whatever you want. If you have three different types of uh, skill classes you want to have, um, you can most certainly do that. Now what will happen though is when we select this command um, extra, which I am going to lowercase this, just press Y on it and you can change all of them. Just extra equals skill. What will happen now is it will switch to whatever your extra is. Okay, so we're going to copy this page. We're going to insert two pages. We're going to paste the page here, paste the page here. So we have three pages that are exactly identical, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to rename this page spell or whatever you call your other extra. For everything that you have that's called extra, you want to have a page for. So spell. Did I call it spells or spell? I may have called it spells. Nope, I called it spell. Okay. And we're going to say no spells okay we don't have any spells and under this page we'll call it engineering you have to spell it exactly as you spelled it in your other character so if I spell this word wrong I gotta spell it wrong again <laughs> spell it the exact same way you did on the other page and then you say uh, no parts we're gonna say you need parts to do engineering spells and we don't have any parts, so we're going to say no parts. No parts above. Um, and then we're going to switch back to choosing. Okay, no skills, no parts, no spells. And we're going to go test. And we will see what happens. So Bertha will go first, and we will select uh, skill. No skills at this time pass spell no spells perfect and Timmy it'll be a little bit before Timmy gets a turn but we can go ahead and assume that um, this other character will get it also and we see on the right that our display is messed up somehow um, that's something that uh, we can fix at a later time um, we have not done a whole lot with the displays so there will be some kinks we need to iron out um, yep, no parts. Okay, so let's go into uh, edit mode and we can uh, go ahead and actually call that good. Um, that was pretty straight and uh, straight into the point tutorial. So uh, I hope you guys got something out of it. Um, feel free now to uh, call your classes, um, your spell types, pardon me, or your skill types, whatever you would like to call them. And uh, in our next video, maybe we'll be fixing a couple more bugs. Uh, again, bug fixes are just part of what I want in this tutorial. I want you guys to see ways that you can fix and debug and troubleshoot your, um, your bugs that you may run into in your projects. So uh, thanks so much, and uh, I hope you enjoy, and I hope you have fun creating your own spell, uh, spell names.